It's no secret the pandemic has left many small businesses struggling to survive. Yet a local coffee shop tucked off Youngstown's north side has been selling out of coffee weekly after expanding their online platform. <laughs> Valley native wow. Stephen and Mary Parathero opened Culture House Coffee Company nearly seven years ago. It's been a coffee shop centered on building relationships and a sense of community. So when social distancing and face masks became the new normal, Stephen said he was nervous for what was ahead. I think it's helping people like at least get more comfortable with going out mm -hmm. and trying to, like you said, like get to that new normal. Sad. Though they had an online presence before the pandemic, the storefront mainly did the heavy lifting for their business. The shop tried to make up for that loss by moving their business online, which included expanding their variety of coffee and launching a new subscription service. Something I've always kind of wanted to do, um, and then through that, that kind of just like, kind of forces you to like innovate, like you said, and uh, just kind of pushed us to make that happen. So. Steven said, although times are tough, the community has always been there to help them keep going. You know, have, have had a lot of support um, locally. Um, I, I I've keep saying this, but like, if you have uh, something good, like in Youngstown, people will find you, right. you know? So I find that to be true during this time, so. Culture House wanted to pay it forward. As a way to thank their customers, they offered 19% off all orders for a limited time. For frontline workers, they donated five gallons of coffee to each of the Mercy Health Centers in Youngstown and Warren. As a donation, um, we partnered with somebody to make that happen, uh, somebody locally. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was nice. It, it felt good. So. Culture House has recently reopened their indoor and outdoor seating. As YSU transitions into the upcoming school year, they're excited to safely welcome the students back. I'm working on a plan to push open later um, so students have a place to, if they feel comfortable coming out to study. Um, if the weather's still nice, they can study outside or find a place indoors. We're keeping everything clean. Um, Steven said even though the past few months have been a challenge, he's glad he's still able to serve his customers, whether it's online or in person. Reporting in Youngstown, Taylor Frank, WKBN 27 First News.